you put yourself into focus when you went through the order of the ark. That's all. You put yourself into the sense of focus. And in that sense of focus, the awareness of being able to focus, to limit yourself, a beautiful ability, by the way, in that going through the order of the ark, coming to earth, you know, in a way you could say, it's, there is no earth. I mean, there is, but there isn't. There is a focus that you put yourself into, and in that tight focus, you basically allowed yourself to shut off all the other 200,000 senses. You put yourself into focus. From focus came the mind. The mind is a tool of focus. The mind was developed, it, it, it was, uh, it was um, evolved over time to give your angelic being, your I Am awareness, intense focus. And that's what it's all about. Remember, if your consciousness, time and space are moving through you, you don't move through time and space. Time and space move through you. You're in intense focus, shutting out your other mechanisms for perceiving reality. So reality is, is so um, sharp and so focused, that creates a very interesting effect on the movement of time and space, which in turn causes gravity. The movement of time and space through a being who is highly focused causes gravity, which therefore intensifies the whole experience of being in focus, it makes rocks hard. It makes the physical body stay, uh, the spirit stay in the physical body. It sucks everything into it, and that's the beauty of focus and the after effect called gravity. So basically, if you want to simplify it, you are in the sense of focus and you are being held in by gravity. Not just gravity, uh, not just the way you think of Earth gravity dropping the uh, apple and it falls to the ground, but a gravitational effect of consciousness sucks everything in and makes reality seem real, almost inflexible, when in fact it's not really real. Not real meaning it's not the only thing. And it's very, very flexible, and that's where we're going. Focus is focus. It's like a great big a uh, black hole with a playground at the bottom. Uh, it, it sucks one back in. But it has its beauty as well. It has its beauty. And the beauty of focus is that right now you could be very focused on what we're doing here together. You can be very singular about it. You can be perceiving me coming across on your screen, or uh, you might be hearing me in your ears, hopefully. It allows such singularity. It allows the soul, the I Am, to immerse itself totally into a single thing. It allows the I Am, through the human persona, to perceive this bouquet of flowers only as flowers, only as flowers, not as an energy arrangement, not as uh, multiple realities, not as, I would say, imagination. It allows the human to perceive this as just flowers. Harsh, not harsh, but uh, solid, rigid, it has defined shape and form. See, without the intense sense of focus, you wouldn't see it like this at all. Well, you might see other beautiful things, but focus allows you to, well, focus. Focus allows you to live within a reality, a perception that you've helped to create, to live within it and actually immerse so deeply in it that you believe it, so deeply within it that you see nothing else, so deeply within 
what you have created and what you are perceiving that this is it. There's a beauty in focus as it allows you to focus on yourself. You get so basically funneled into yourself, funneled into uh, what you would call your body, mind, funneled into your human identity, and you actually believe it. There is an amazing beauty and a cosmic joke all at the same time in that, to get so focused into limitation, into yourself as a limited being, that you believe it. Such beauty and such a cosmic joke all at the same time, cosmic being your joke on you. There is such a beauty in being able to be focused where you could take a breath and feel it. So singular. Take a breath into your into your chest, into your lungs and feel it where a focus that has such beauty that you can eat a fine meal or drink a good glass of wine and sense it in a very limited way. There's such intensity occurring, such intensity as the transition of the focus and the other senses, the free senses, takes place. Your body has clung for so long unto the gravity of the planet, unto the dynamics of the physical reality. And the mind, of course, has made itself out to be the intelligence, has made itself out to be the guiding factor in the life with its reservoirs of memories and thoughts, emotions and judgments, everything held into place tightly by focus and its gravity. But now comes the Master. The Master steps in, having been allowed to be. The Master comes in and the dynamics start changing. What was once resistance, what was once holding on to the tight sense of focus, the singularity of this sense, what was also manifested in things like power, manifested in things like energy abuse, now start to shift and change. The Master emerges. Focus shifts. And the free senses come in. The Master comes in. And as the Master comes in, the sense of focus is not as dominant, is not as singular. As the Master comes in, the free senses come in as well, all bringing a new sensuality new color, new depth, new awareness to embodied living, something that none of the Ascended Masters really experienced in their times, but something that you, others like you, are choosing to do in your lifetime. Sensual living, the way of the Master.